last time on the Chasing LA Reunion. Why not ask black people what their definition of being an ally looks to them? You would never refer to a black man as boy. boy. It wasn't in And I added you that week before when I said, keep my be... name out your fucking mouth, and then you block me. What is it about William that rubs you the wrong way? Like it was too much. I've been in multiple spaces with African-American people. You just got to this party. I've been out here in LA doing this, and you and Jeremy can witness to that. When did I bully you, sir? Please roll the tape. You are a bully. bully. I'm the star. Thank you. How you doing? Because you paid for it. Points for the Reese. 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 I paid you, and Dario, I paid you. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. No one cares. Next question. Thank Wait, what tell him? Bitch. What? Can we get a veterinarian on set, please? We have a wild dog on set. We need a veterinarian. We have the lovely Miss Liz here with us. How are you doing, beautiful? I was shaded on the show by you. You know what I'm saying? You said fuck or didn't you? Cause I have a fucking mouth. I can say what the fuck I want to say. You talk to me, bitch. Bitch, you talk to me, and you come see what I can do. I said you fuck. I said. Come on, your mama, bitch. I told you. Don't play with me, bitch. I do what? You wicked ass bitch. Maybe she got some shit going on. All these fucking breaks. Like we all supposed to be. Don't eye on me. Can they come out? Cause we have to waste our time. We all should be here. If their name isn't on the car. Let's move forward. If they aren't here to answer questions. I'll get up and go sit on my phone do what the fuck I gotta okay, do. Okay, Jerry, let's finish my job. I said what I had to say, I'm done, now well, talk to your host. Well, let me finish my job. Here. Have a seat and quiet. Let's wrap up our parent segment, and for those who are absent, let's move forward. Everybody okay? Jerry, you okay? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. Who you should have said my name? Yeah, I'm Jerry, you okay? 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 Jerry, not crown. Cameras or not, I do this shit in real life. I am always the most positive person in the room. You can do the math, but I'm still the one. I am a goddess walking amongst angels and demons. Don't tell me you're a rapper unless you've been on Billboard. Rarely a fighter, but always poetic. Delusion or dysfunction, the queen always reigns supreme. If you don't want that smoke, don't send for it, cause bitch, I'm pressed. Go, 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 yeah, go. How come, how come you can't voice your opinion without having to fight? Why you have to fight without voicing your opinion? Mitch was concerned about the beginning of the season. You were concerned about the beginning of the season. Okay. Thank you. Run nobody. Furthermore, girl, haven't we told you this a hundred times? You don't scare nobody up in here. Okay. You don't run me. You don't go stop me from saying what I gotta say. Scared of what? I'm gonna say what I wanna say, girl. You can fall at the mouth until you go home okay. tonight. Period. That doesn't bother me, bitch. You been sucking too much dick, too much Andre okay. dick in your throat, oh, and the cone oh. is built up on the corner. Up, dick. Have y'all seen his porn videos? No, no, see no. porn videos. You're, it's so much masculine energy, but the energy is really feminine. Yeah. Searching for masculinity, that's femininity. Oh, and you eat your. Oh. And that's why you foaming at the mouth. Oh. My, my, my. Rich bottom. I said it already. I ain't gonna say no, it. No, roach bottom. Roach bottom. Oh my god. Um, Poetic, you opened up this season about the loss of, of your mother. Um, what do you think your mom would say to you about where you are in your life right now? Rich Mom, you as well. You also opened up as well. I'll let, you want to answer first? Yeah. Um, when it comes to my mother, it's, it's always a touchy um, subject because we never had the chance to um, develop an, an adult relationship. And when I see this right here, that, that warms my heart so much because that's all I ever wanted and I never had a chance to get it. So, Lord, I forgot my thing. I was trying to hold, hold, hold my robe. Oh, you got it. Go ahead. Go ahead, boy. So yeah, it just is it's super touchy on, on that. You know, when it comes to my mother, when it comes to my family, I ride so hard for them. I wish I had the chance to get to know my mother, but I never got the chance. And then my dad was never around. He was a girl. So, and that played out and fixed my life. So. Well, I'm yeah. sure she would be proud, friend. I I'm hope sure so. you're doing a great job, and you look nice doing it. Yeah. You do, sir. You look nice doing it. That boy sharp. You suck. You suck. You look nice doing it. Man, wholesome man. That boy. <laughs> you look good. You look you good. You look good, sir. Well, poetic. If you could, if you could tell your mom one thing right now, what would you say to her? I would tell her that I love her. I miss her, and uh, keep keep being with me every day. I need you. 
Thank you so much for being vulnerable in that moment. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Rich Bomb, you also open up about the loss of your mother this season. Um, what do you think your mom would say about where you are in, in your life today? Real shit, man. I'm a boy from, again, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I got it out the mud. My mom had me when she was 14. I was the second child. So um, I was adopted by my grandparents. So I didn't have a relationship, I guess a strong relationship with my mother. She was on drugs. In and out of the streets, jail, et cetera. So a, a lot of missing moments, like poetic said, like, I don't know how my mama laughed. I don't know her favorite food. I don't even know what, like, I guess how she responded when she get mad because my grandparents kind of like kept us away. Like I only saw her bits and pieces. But just to answer your question, real shit, man, she'll be ecstatic. Like I'm the first, uh, one of the first college graduates of my family. Mm. You know, I'm yeah. the first, I'm the first Air Force vet. My grandfather was an Army uh, vet. He raised me along with my grandmother and my great aunt. But yeah, first Air Force, first RN, uh, ICU yeah. nurse. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and now going into this space. So I didn't brought my family again into another light as far as like just, I guess, entertainment TV or being an entertainer. Um, also just advocating for those who have PTSD and depression and the LGBT as a whole. So she would be ecstatic because men, where I'm from again, they don't make it out at like 16. It's still a high like murder capital. It's really, really bad still now. I'm pretty sure she's proud of you because I heard you got a heated pool in the back. Yeah, I, what a, look, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? But you know, I'm gonna be here for the next couple of days. So, you know, invite yeah. me on. Let take me know a, when take a dip to the pool, please. Uh, uh, just uh, saying. Uh, you know, and hopefully my, my uh, diving board is unforgiving. Poetic. <laughs> that diving board <laughs> set me <laughs> and give it tens across the board. <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing you would say to your mom right now if you had it? the opportunities to say anything to her. I don't know what blessings you sit up or what you told God, but girl, I, you, you looked out for your boy. <laughs> for real, I don't know what she told him when she got up there, but man, like my entire life has been a blessing. I didn't foresee any of this. So to have her always, I feel her presence, my grandmother presence, uh, and my great aunt sister, or what I wish is my grandfather's um, sister. Those are three women that kind of like raised me and collected throughout periods, but I feel all of their presence with me. Rich Bomb, Poetic, thank you guys for being so vulnerable and sharing your mothers with us, even though they're no longer here, they're still here with you guys, obviously. And um, I would like to thank Miss Liz and Mr. LaSalle for being here. Yeah. Okay. Guys, that was a lot just now, so we have to take a quick break. Please don't go anywhere. You are watching The Chase in LA, season two, reunion show. Coming up on The Chasing LA Reunion. I'm just trying to understand why we are in this space when I've apologized to you multiple times. Okay, well, when you get- Multiple times. Okay. Multiple times I've apologized to you and you keep doing the same thing. Keep doing the same thing. Keep doing the same thing. This whole reunion, nothing positive that I have put on this show this season has been discussed once. And I'm constantly getting cut out every season. Oh, we haven't seen you. We haven't seen you. I'm here. Okay, Trey, we are about to start. All right. So where should I begin? What's up, world? I am, once again, Trey Howard, AKA Styles by Howard, but let's get a little personal. Traylon Spencer is my name, and I'm excited to be with you guys again. I have been working my ass off. I want to come in Monday and get right to work. With so many opportunities coming my way, I still don't want to miss out on no money. So I brought on some new people, I got my ducks in a row, and I think this is the right time. It's real, real here. I actually was gonna pour me some wine, but who bought these started from cook? I don't handle him being a boss to me very well. Like, I understand this is your job, but sweet tone it down. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is James Davis. I'm 25 years old. I admire his creativity. I admire his hustleness. I admire just him as an individual. Ah, don't touch me. <laughs> We're on camera, James. You're gonna get us flagged. We've been together for a minute. We'll be fighting for like 
the toothpaste being off the cap, like. First of all, I'm gonna need you to relax. You don't want me to- Okay, 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 y'all, 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 y'all. You never have a Y'all, we definitely like- He's a bigger person. It's starting to really tick me off. 2021, I got a call from my mom. We had been talking about how to reprimand my brother, get him safe where he's out of the lifestyle. You really sitting here, bro, like, I don't know, I just feel like, like mama said, it's unreal. Like, I don't want to come out as like, I'm parenting you, mama, because you're not my, you my mom. You say you're going to be okay, but you don't, because you still call me when your kids get into it. I just want you to be, I just want you to be okay, but I'm miles and miles away. It's crazy how you can all live in the same household and grow up so differently. So I have been busy. I have got so many things coming my way. I have so many new opportunities. Move out of the way, guys. Please move. I am an LLC owned. I am a business owner. I am an entrepreneur. I am a stylist. I am the 21st century kid, as I said before. And if you're not on my train, you need to buy a ticket. And we are back here at the Chasing LA season two reunion show. We've witnessed Jayla and Nicole Ray shading each other down like there is no tomorrow. It all started with Jayla not able to attend Nicole's Friendsgiving. As soon as the two finally met in Palm Springs, things took a turn for the worse and carried for the rest of the season. Can the two let it go tonight? I hope so. Let's take a look. Another person was invited to the function, but they didn't make it. Okay. But their plus one is still coming. Who invites a plus one and then doesn't come, but the plus one comes? Hey, hey who's this naked man? Oh, I'm, I'm I don't think know. it's plus one. Oh, who oh, is this? Oh, and she invited somebody naked. I have a lot to say about Jayla, and I was like, do they know each other? Have they met before? I don't think so. I have not met Nicole, but I heard she was phenomenal with, um, Phenomenal I haven't met your, your friend Jayla. Why are you calling people my friends? Just, well, because you said that she I invited said, you to shit. Met... So that's your friend. That's how I'm going to assume. Oh, Jayla. Oh, it's Jayla Jaylon. She looks like my girl Jayla. Jayla. So Andre's on a call with Miss Jayla, and she claims she just had some surgery. Looks like sis was at the dollar store to me. What the fuck do I look like driving four hours and I don't know you? I heard her say, how she at the dollar store getting surgery? How you in my DM acting like we friends? Jesus. And then you talking shit to other people about me. That's sloppy okay. mess. Well, I just feel like Miss Girl keeps missing events. So if it's a coin issue, I mean, I was gonna help feel the like it's out. a coin issue. I give to a lot of charity. All I'm saying is you said your words were, oh, she couldn't be here because she just had Surgery. But well, what did I have to do with you? Nothing. I don't give a fuck nothing about that girl body. Oh, I'm a bitch. You go down, bitch. Period. I don't give a fuck. 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 I don't even know this old lady from the other page. I'm not arguing no problem. I'm not arguing no problem. I'm not arguing She's throwing false accusations about me. You don't really like me. You're doing this shit for cameras and I don't appreciate it. So at the end of the day, bitch, you're a fan. Bitch, you've been watching me before you even got here. You're on the same place, you're at the same place I am and I'm 25, bitch, and you're 40. She was going in on you, talking about how much she didn't like you. She don't fuck with trans women, blah, 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 all of this shit. But at the end of the day, uh, I came with love. I came with respect. I came as an adult, mature. So now we're gonna change it. The negative to a positive every time. Did I say I don't like her? Wait, stop, 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 stop. Ooh, child, that was a lot for me to process. So, Jayla, for the record, can we just clear this up, okay? Are you 23, 24, 25, 26? How old are you, girl? You know, a real woman never reveals her age, baby. Okay, I respect it, I respect it. Um, Nicole, yes. Jordan from New Jersey says, if you never ever had the opportunity to meet Jayla firsthand while entering the group, why did you feel the need to mention her name every chance you got? You literally mentioned Jayla's name over 10 times before you even met her in person. Then you tried to turn it around on Andre as if you weren't being the messy one. 
us viewers see right through you. It's obvious you were you were pressed over Jayla, but I would like to know the real reason why, Nicole. Um, there wasn't a real reason why anything. When they came to my home, I didn't know who was invited and who was not invited. They brought her name up. How would I know that she was supposed to come to my home if I wasn't in charge of the cast guest list? So they brought her name up. They spoke about her as it pertains to the LLC. They said what they said. All I said was, okay, she invited somebody, she didn't come, got it, let me write that down. The next time her name was brought up was when, when we were at the We Just Met Each Other 2.0 mixer, they brought up, Jayla's not gonna be here because she's having surgery. I did not bring her up. So once you bring somebody up, it's free game. Anybody can say whatever they wanna say about it. We're all on a show together. I'm allowed to have an opinion. My opinion was she continues to miss events. Once you introduce something into a circle, we can talk about it. But you said it was a first strike when she didn't show up to your friend. That is a strike in my book. But wait, why though? Because you didn't know Jilla from a can of paint at the time. But who invited Hold on, let me, let me finish. That, that can of paint. So shouldn't you really have been upset with Hershey LaCour? He's the one who invited Jayla and a plus one without telling you about the plus ones until he got to your event. Why look at Jayla sideways? That's not what happened. Hershey, I said, Hershey, feel free to invite who you think will have a good time and will fit in and will have a come and have a good time. She said, I might invite this person, this person, so why would I be mad at Hershey for inviting plus ones when we discussed that at my salon? Well, those are her plus ones. If they right. don't show up, why, you, why do you care? But he was her plus one. He wasn't my perfect That's not what she said on the show, though. Okay, but if, if Hershey, if her, hold on, if Hershey, I'm trying to get somewhere. If Hershey's plus one didn't show up, why does it matter? It, it doesn't matter. I was just making my notes. Like, okay, you invited somebody to my party, but you didn't come. So now you have this stranger coming to strangers because he doesn't know any of us. That's, it's my house. I can feel how I want to feel about my house. Like, all I said was, who invites somebody? Now, if you invite me to your home or if someone invites me to your home okay. and I don't come, why would I invite some strange person that you don't know? And so you're going to look at me sideways because you're like, well, you're supposed to be here with her. I don't even barely know. Oh, no, I get that part. Right. I'm so just saying, saying I wouldn't have everyone... cared. I, I personally wouldn't have but cared. When I, but here's the thing. I cared enough to say that's a strike in my book. That's all I said. I didn't drag it. I just said that's a strike in my book. I was very nice to him when he came to my home. I treated everybody with the just the whole that she's like, digging herself yeah. in. Like, we all watch Nicole, the same Nicole, after shit. Andre FaceTime Jayla at the we just met each other again mixer you screamed out it's the lies for me now according to you 17 minutes before that facetime call took place you were under the impression that jayla just had surgery but from what you saw in jayla's background according to you she was at the dollar tree now whether or not jayla was lying about her surgery why did you care again you did not know this woman from a can of paint. Why I mean, did you care? Like, what's really the underlying problem? There was problem. no underlying issue. We're all in a group talking about things, so I'm talking about things. If I wouldn't have talked about her, she wouldn't have been a part of anything. Okay, well, um, I'm just curious, Nicole. I would have I preferred that. I would have preferred that. Or at least a little bit of positivity, especially with like black trans women dying at the rate of 35. Right. You okay, know, so when you we should met, pass 35, when we met, the bitch let me get there. Met, you know when we met and we had a conversation and we apologized to one another and we moved forward, why would you leave there with negative energy when I wasn't because on no negative energy? Because you're a negative ball. So I, 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 had to go put that in, I had to go put that in some music. So, so when you left ball. there, I was being negative to you? Yeah. We, I was? Are yes. you sure? You, are you, you should do an egg cleanse, Are you positive? Yes. You're positive. I was being negative to you when you left there. Seats okay. that I do ca I okay, care two fucks about. Let's, you are a negative person. Let's you are looking at me hella crazy. Um, I, I believe the couple of episodes. So what day, day did we go on the cash trip? You guys, it was like March third. March. It was like March, March, early March. It was yeah, like March third. Yeah, TTB. What does it say right here? What does it say right here? March tenth, right? Yes. What does it say? I was being negative to her. What read all of that? What does that say? Um, Mar hold on. March tenth, twelve fifty-seven p.m. Are you still out here, or you went back? Continue, girl. I'm at my fan bam house out here in LA. What are you doing Saturday? It's a pool party. Sis, I'm in the studio all day today. So does that sound like somebody that was being mean to her when it we left there? It does not, but we have to move on. Right. I'm just curious, Nicole. Nicole, who was the person who told you the reason um, Jayla couldn't make it was because she was having surgery? Andre. Oh. Now, oh, oh, oh. that was just true. <laughs> um, they had just filmed but what difference does it matter? Just, this this the is the thing. Days ago. This is the thing. What difference does it matter? If she had had the surgery that day or not, if she had it three weeks fucking later, the point is she wasn't there. She talked to production. She talked to whoever she needed to talk to. So why the fuck does it matter? My thing is this. If you were trying to get to know somebody in good spirits, the sentiment would not be all of these. Well, she ain't here. It wouldn't be all these shady things. It would be more along the lines of, you know, I would really like to get to know Jayla and I Unfortunately, at this point, I haven't been able to, so I have to
the reserve, but whatever I'm judgment until I meet her. her. But, but the first day we met you, you made a lot of comments. You say don't like trans women. I never said that. You don't like Jayla. Jayla is a prostitute. Like you made a lot of comments. Yes, you did. Andre, come on, friend. You said you didn't. Did I say she was a prostitute? You said you did not like. Yes, you said you don't like sex workers. You said I'm not doing anything about her doing. That was the first conversation that we had. Like, come on now. That was the first conversation that we had. That's right. First of all, what I said was I don't have a lot of trans friends. Since That's you tend said. to like forget a I lot of what you say. They got the tapes running back. I never Baby, you have said this in house. front of us also never at the restaurant. Also, at the restaurant yeah. yeah. where you brought up Jayla's genitalia. Yeah. Did I, at the hold on, hold on, hold on. Hershey, Hershey, you were sitting at that table at my home. Did I call her a prostitute in that moment? Not at the table. At exactly. The table. He, Hershey, you said not at the table. Did I call so her at the table? Because I didn't say you said it at the table. I you said, said I said it at your house. Yes, but I, I said, Dad, you did say it at her house. At my house? Talk, yes, the same night that you told Andre. me. Can I get it out too? Like, you just let me get it out. Andre. The same conversation where you told me, Andre. I thought I wasn't going to like you. I thought I was going to have to curse you. And I did say that. I did say that. In that same conversation that is not at on camera, you said that you did not like trans women. You did That's not, not what I said. Well, well, I don't well, know listen, how to train hey, women. it wasn't you them. Did. You so said what, I'd what, rather what, hang what out with the boys. Life. I did say that I would rather hang out with boys. First of all, never gave me one Let's, chance. Just talk on, shit about me. Pause. Can we pause? The thing of the matter is, a trans woman was probably once a gay boy and now a trans woman. So when right. I was a gay boy, I knew Jeremy when I was doing drag. I knew boys when I was doing drag. I was a boy and I was doing drag. So I had a lot of homeboys and straight female friends. When I decided to transition, am I supposed to run? Run out and sign up a whole bunch of new trans friends. I kept the same friends that I had. All I said was, I do not know a lot of trans women. Okay. However, they see me in the ballroom scene. All the trans girls know who I am and I know who they are. That don't mean they're my friends, but I know them and they know me. So I never said I don't like trans women. I'm just trying to understand why we are in this space when I've apologized to you multiple times. Okay, well, when you get multiple on... times, you, okay. multiple times I've apologized to you and you keep doing the same thing. Keep doing the same thing. Keep doing the same thing. What does so that at mean? this point, you kind of do doing? the same thing too, though. Now, what have I done to her, Andre? I, think... I apologized in front of her. Yeah. I, came home from I don't miss it. I don't think I that you're a bad person. Pos Jayla, is that, what, is that your way of saying Neil? Ever again. Nicole, and what? I don't Please think y'all intentional. Hold on. Yeah. Please show me on this show where after Palm Springs I said anything negative about her. Please so with the, the live that we had. It was oh, on a live, right? Because me and her got into it. Can I get it out, babe? Oh my God, God. damn. The, I would just oh, like to get it out. Because the, the question show. was, the question you was, have I said and anything? And the, you the, the question was, have I said anything? The live is a clear cut example of where you have said something. I think we, I think there's a way we can get to the resolve. I think I just, I think I just figured it out. I think I figured it out. Your whole Nicole, life is changed. Jayla says she will forgive you if you take a kneel. Would you take a kneel? <laughs> Next question. I just thought I would ask. That ain't happening now. Ask. Um, <laughs> now, Jayla. Here so, I am. Here I am again being nice to her. Hey, I got you. I, I believe you. But we, I, we got to move on. Jay, here I am again being nice. We have to we move care. on. But I, I think we... We do not have to be friends. I don't have no problem with that, girl. We do not but ever have to I guess we're staying right here. Thank you. We don't never have to speak to her Boom. I will not speak to her for the rest of this. Thank you. Moving right along. Moving right along. I will not speak nothing else for her. And you got to say me for being a real ass bitch and being upset that you said that you booed me this whole fucking season. Okay. Like, what the fuck? Okay. And then you get mad because I'm gonna have my motherfucking back. Mm. But I apologize oh, to you. I can't apologize no more. I'm apologized out. Okay. I've apologized so 1,000 time. times. Love takes time. Girl, this is not the you energy, say never right, so. this is not the energy you were given the other day. This is what I'd be talking about with you. Nicole, hold on for a second. We hold on for a, a second. We fucking show, okay? Oh Jayla, I have a question. <laughs> Question for you. <laughs> girl, I, I'm the show. How am I boring, girl? You see where I am and you girl, see where you girl, work, girl. Calm down. Okay, okay. Girl, without me, you I'm wouldn't have nothing going on. Girl, bye. Jayla, um, hold up. Nicole, take a breather. Surgery is a very private matter. Yeah. Did you give anyone in the group permission to tell people in the group, especially strangers, that you strangers. were going under the knife? I did give permission to Andre, King New, William, Fly King, you know, who, if they told the other cast members that I thought I was cool with, you know what I'm saying? Because I actually initially came onto the season believing that I was cool 
everybody. Got you. And willing to give homegirl a chance. Got you. But instead, you know, it's it, we're here. And it really fucking sucks. Because at the end of the day, I, I really hate feeling like I got to behave this way and, and have to be, you know, show this side of me. It could. I wish we could have just kumbaya and be cool, you know, been cool. But at the end of the day, like, I, I, I'm i going to have my back. We I'm going to have my back. I have another question. I have another question. Yes. You said yes. You said yes. Okay, we have yeah. to move on. Jayla, Prophet from Detroit says your presence in the show this season was pretty much non-existence up until Palm Springs. Nicole mentioning you so much in essence actually kept you a part of the show and gave you a storyline. So why are you so upset with her when you should be well, saying first, thank you? First of all, I gave her a storyline. I'm, I'm the, I'm, I run this shit. I'm the, second, I'm the second thank season in. That's her. one. So no thank you to, to Nicole. Of course Have not. Have done season one? She had nothing to talk about, about right? Me. Whether it's negative or positive, you're supposed to. You're a hater. That's your job. You didn't know? That's how. That's just you know. That's just what it is. Old bitches hating on young bitches. That's what they do. Business. I worked all year. That's what's that. We don't care. Do not care. Nicole, when you finally met Jayla, I don't care that she do. She didn't do my hair on the show. We have to get through this. She put a comb through my motherfucking head and it didn't do shit. But go ahead. That's why I don't really see the talent in what she the fuck is doing. Because I can throw some bleach in a motherfucking hair. We love a high comb. Now, Nicole, when you finally met Jayla in person, why didn't you pull Jayla to the side and tell her all of the concerns you brought up to everyone else in this group? You were you were mighty quiet, sis. So what happened was when Jayla came in and she sat at the table, she said, and me and you, sis, are going to have a private talk. And I said, okay, that's fine. So I sat there quietly. As we're talking, she's doing what she's been doing today, throwing jabs, throwing jabs. No, I wasn't. That you were there, I was talking to him and you're rolling your eyes. And I said, you don't have to be rolling your eyes and shit. Like at the end of the day, if you don't know me, just keep my name out of your mouth. I don't understand. This is law. We are black. This is law. So at the end of the day, you should have just done that. You should have just waited. I gave you positive energy. I welcomed you into my motherfucking group. So you should have just been oh cool God. and understanding that I'm out here doing whatever the fuck I'm doing, minding my business, instead of talking about me. And then you should be an example. Let's be real, my Be an example. That's all I'm saying. Yes, you got all this good stuff going on, but you don't look happy, my... You don't look happy because you're talking about me this whole time. <laughs> Like, find something that makes you happy and then chase that. Ooh. Stop chasing me. Oh. We're going to dinner after this, right? She has a right. Yeah. The party was good last night. Jalen, Nicole called you a prostitute. Now, for the record, do you have sex with men to pay your bills? Um, no. No, I don't. But at the end of the day, a man is always going to take care of me. That's what men are. So they're a protector, a provider, and that's what it is. You can call it what you want, but am I out there walking the streets and shit like that? No, I don't. I, I don't do, you, do, that. do you have ads on, like, sex sites? And yeah, have you ever found an ad? Um, yeah. Oh, you have? Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. See, that's why I invested it with your nasty ass. It's too much. Did you find a rich ass? fucking much. You're a liar. And that's why I can't fuck with you. Like, honestly, that's why I really can't fuck with you. But I'm not mad at you because I know this is just who you are. This is how you were raised to be just low down and dirty. Just a nasty individual. You're so pretty. But if you just lost a little bit of weight and really just invested in yourself instead of just being so oh, invested God. in I didn't me, invest in myself. I you would love business yourself. In a home. Several you would love I did yourself invest in and you're myself, still not happy. I've invested and in myself. Still not happy. Girl. I pray for you. I see Thank your spirit. You. I appreciate that. It's like you have such a pretty Thank face, you. but you got this that. nasty ass energy. That. That's why I call. That's why I say, can I get I boiled eggs in the chat? That. Because you should look up the boiled egg cleanse. I appreciate your energy, your spirit, mama. Yes. Yes. good, girl. Thank you. 3940 same Thanks. 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 Thanks.
never wanted him. Poetic is he married. He was a nice friend. This is why I wanted to just I move the fuck I'm, on. I'm this is why I wanted to move the but fuck this is, on. This yeah. is what she does. But and then you can play me. Nobody's blaming you. What are you talking about? Okay. Nobody's blaming yeah. you. Stop it's trying fine. to play victim. It's Nobody's even blaming you. It's just nasty. Nobody gives a fuck about you. You're about 20. You're about 10. It's just okay. You can do math. Did you graduate, bitch? It's just nasty. It's just fucking nasty. fuck? You keep bringing up my name. I don't give a fuck about you, bro. It's just nasty. I didn't bring up your name. You just said you just said poetic. She what the fuck? brought up your name. Is it just me or Okay, well then just move it along. I'm not even stuff. in this segment. Let's move not it along now. Moving along. It was alleged this season that Nicole said I to King Payne that Jayla is out of the group because she hasn't been around. I said it happened. I said it happened. So, oh, you, said so it, it did happen. happen. Yeah, I said it happened. So I'm not delusional. Mm -hmm. I said that to you. We talked about this a thousand times. I'm yeah. asking, I said, man. No, you're this not is what the King is for. King Payne, you're not delusional. Oh, no, King thank Payne. you. I, I said. That. So for the record, you told you told King Payne that Jayla was out of the group. Yeah, he was talking that she wasn't his friend. I said, oh, that's your friend. And he was like, well, I'm not sure if that's my friend. We already talked about that. So like, why did you too. deny it at no, that table? I said I didn't remember. But later on, when I was talking to her, because I was okay. drinking and I was only worried about fighting with her, I wasn't thinking about that. Later on, I said to her, I said, oh yeah, I do remember saying that. I was like, child, who cares if that's your friend or not your friend? She ain't part of the group no more. Anyway. But that was kind of my uh, point is that I feel like it's sometimes. It's always your point though. It's yeah. Like, no, 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 I get it. Yeah, but I had a point because them. I was in the okay. mix of it. And the point that, we, and this is why we had the disagreement that we right. had is because, because my opinion of you is that sometimes that you say things and then when it comes up, you cannot but remember. I I so. No, I in the moment, you said, in Andre, the Andre, moment. Andre, but did I say anything about you? Yeah, you did. did. The, like, you guys said a lot of stuff about me. You sat up at the kitchen ball and said my face is pale and I'm ugly. But my point is, is that you say things and you cannot remember. You get dementia when it comes up. Oh my God, I don't remember saying like oh my god it wasn't shade oh my god i was cracking the joke you say part. things and then you're not accountable they for it accountable you're welcome and i, I will continue that. to do it andre please um before we leave here tonight is there any way you two beautiful gorgeous chocolate sisters can say one nice thing about each other. Say one nice thing about Nicole. You I said she it. had a beautiful voice when we were in Palm Springs. I said she did a great job. She had a beautiful Jayla. voice. I told her the right, other day yeah. that I liked her hair. Like Jayla. Look, this is what I have to say because at the end of the day, it's really it's deep, but it ain't that motherfucking deep. It ain't paying my bills, girl. My bills, girl. But you dragged it for months. Okay, so look, this is this is how I would like so to just play. So if it wasn't play. that deep, if you just really like, look, what happened happened. We're gonna do this one more time. I don't want to hear the facts of the facts this time, bitch. I just would like to hear, <laughs> let's just say, fuck it. Because at the end of the day, I would like to apologize to you for, you know, speaking, you know, bringing your mother into my mouth, you know, in, within the season. I and what that. I said, you know what I'm saying? That was disrespectful. And I would never want nobody to speak about my mother. So that wasn't cool. So I could check myself on that. Um, the most of the time, you know, we throwing shade and some old shit, you know, it's whatever. You know, this is what we're doing. This is what we signed up for. We're having a good time. But at the end of the day, it's not that deep. So I would like to just extend, you know, a olive branch and just say, fuck it. Let's start over. Let's yes. be cool and just it. be nice. Okay. Oh, no, that's right. You see, TTB, God is in here. God is here. God is in here. God is definitely in here. You know, I don't want to be throwing jabs at you because at the end of the day, when I watch this back, this could, you know, in a couple years, I could be like, I can't, it's growth, but I, I'm going to be like, I can't believe I was, you know, no. and I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be nasty and dirty to, to one of my sisters, you know? So it's like, my feelings were hurt. I'm not trying and that's to. Why, and that's why I apologize. There was a lot of things said. And that's why I apologize. Every motherfucker oh don't know what I go through. But. I ain't getting no makeup on my face. At the end of the day. <laughs> at the end of the day. I just feel like. You know. Greater is he that is in me. That's he that's within this world. So I am going to make it. I don't need that negative shit all, you know, fucking me up. So I'd rather just. Call it a day, be cool, you know what I'm saying? I don't I didn't know you, never spoke on you. I would rather just keep that same energy I had before I met you and was like, I can't wait to meet you again. Yeah, I received that so, and I would like the same with you. Know, you. I would like to move forward. I was wrong for the anything second, I said. Third time. I really like, got times we move forward. I get it. We'll do a duet next week. I get it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, do I really did I really want to forgive you? No. But at the end of the day, it's like damn, I had like when the fuck am I gonna get over this? You know what I'm saying? But I'm human. So Please forgive me. I do, and please forgive me. <laughs> no, that's right.
I never, I never wanted it to get. Is this there far. any way? Before we continue, is there any way you two ladies can give each other a hug? Come on, let's make this moment happen. This is season you two. You better not hit me, bitch. <laughs> My new name is Dr. Phil, yeah. No. Oh no, he's not nice. Oh, oh don't okay. go there. Well, <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly. But we done, we done. Like absolutely throw this shit out the window because I'm an Aries, I forget, I'm gonna forget like after I smoke. So once okay. we go, <laughs> we're real shit. And I don't want to ever talk about none of this extra shit because this shit, it's excuse very me draining. for it's my behavior, draining. everyone. Yeah, no, it's okay? very draining. That's all I gotta say. This has been so amazing. And you know, for the records I heard with Fly King Eyes, he was like, God, God is here. God has always been here, but I will say he did go to the bathroom a little bit earlier. All right, that's all. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, God's definitely been here. And love is love, and I'm so um, appreciative. Jayla, that was so amazing of you yes. to do. Nicole, that was so amazing Thank of you to you. do. You guys are both beautiful black trans sisters, so let's, let's just clap it up for them one more time. Woo! And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we have to take our last commercial break, but please don't go anywhere. You are watching Chasing LA, season two reunion show, baby. Tonight's tea of the week, gossip from the streets, what's trending, and what's cooking at Chit Chat Chew. What's up, y'all? It is the one, the only representative of the big guitar section all across the world. You look at that cap right, it's Travis Wellness. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, and better than ever, buddy. Each and every Thursday at 8 o'clock p.m., we're going to be talking about the hottest of the hottest things. You can look forward to hearing about all of your favorite celebrities, possibly even seeing a few. Meet us here every Thursday at 8 p.m. This is the group chat with your host, Travis Ware. Darius Williams, Troy Gaskins, and George Sloan. Now let's chat. Make sure you subscribe and watch it live. And we are back here for the final time at the Chasing LA season two reunion show. A year later, after all the dust and drama has settled, the cast had some wild and fun moments, which in the end made them look like a family. We love to see it, darlings. Let's take a look. Three and Bye -bye. action. Meeting and talking to Nicole, I think she's a really good vibe. I actually think she, bro, bro. What can I say about this last year? It's been a hell of a journey. This season was only to preview what's to become a witch bomb. Regardless of the outcome, I pat myself on the back for giving it a shot. I am completely happy, and words cannot describe how happy I am. I've accomplished a lot of great things. Me and my relationships are all growing. I have been through so much years before, so to see where I'm at today is just incredible. I had you been looking for me. Bitch, here I go. I learned a lot about myself, about meeting new friends, and just 
Starting over in general. I'm just really in a good space. I'm not chasing entertainment, I'm in entertainment. We're going to get the albums, we're gonna go to Billboard, we're gonna make that hit song, we're gonna make that hit dance. There are a lot of girls interested in my scene. But unfortunately, it is still unavailable. What God has for me, no one can stop. And you just never know what's around the corner for me. No matter how new the world wants you to show up, always go for the green. Stream my music, go listen to Song Cry, run that up. And stay resilient, stay on course, and that's just don't people. <laughs> you wanna yell action for me? When I say three, you wanna yell action? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Poetic, what is next for you in your journey? I am just about done with my album, The Man in the Bubble is coming soon. So I'm just focused on that, finishing my music and just, you know, living in love with my husband and just living this life, that's it. Chasing. Love to see it, keep shining, King. William the Baddest, hey. what do you have coming up, Mr. Booked and Busy? Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, focused on my music, um, you know, releasing singles and stuff and making music videos, cause you know, it could be, it could cost a lot, you know what I mean? You know, I'm writing my own love show right now. Um, it's called Love Real Bad. You know, every bad boy needs someone else. I'm just trying to make it happen and just, you know, enjoy the moment because life is short and uh, a lot, lately a lot of people have been dying fast, young. And I'm just trying to have fun and, and live in the moment and just be happy with what I have, you know what I mean? All right, speaking of booked and busy, Jeremy Copeland, what do you have next for us, sir? It really doesn't matter because you know what? This entire season, we talked to, I shared my journey with being injured. I shared my journey with starting a whole agency with celebrities. I shared my journey walking the largest ball in New York for the last two years and winning my category and walking the largest grand prize in ballroom history. I shared, started my, doing, doing my first Kiki ball ever and throwing my first ball ever on this platform that was reduced down to a 30 second montage to, so that Palm Springs could be talked about. This whole reunion, nothing positive that I had put on this show this season has been discussed once. The only time my name was mentioned was to talk about the other bullshit that's been talked about this entire season. So I'm sorry that I don't care to share about what I'm doing next. Y'all will see it on Instagram, but I shared a lot this season. And it also is kind of fucked up because there were a lot of amazing opportunities and things that I wanted to help bring on this show that was cut out because nobody was available. Nobody can come, but they're available and come, they're available to shoot all these other scenes to talk about the same bullshit that's talked about. Everyone called me boring this season. You bring nothing. They call me show. boring too, as well. I'm trying to bring something to this show. I'm trying to bring the chase to the show, and that's cut out so we can talk about Palm Springs for five fucking hours. So what's next for me? I, and I, that has nothing to do with the chasing reality brand. I love this brand. I'm not going nowhere. But this has to stop. I'm trying to sh show something and bring something on a, at another level that a lot of people are not doing, and I'm constantly getting cut out every season. Oh, we haven't seen you. We haven't seen you. I'm here. But my work season are getting cut out because they want to chase drama. And because I'm not in the drama, I'm not in the scene. That's what's next to me. We got to do better on these web series and these shows. People that are trying to put their best foot forward, we got to do better. That's what's next for me. Jayla, Jayla, Jayla. Hi. What's next for you and your music? No, I'm just going to continue striving to, you know, continue um, you know, building my craft and being this one woman team and, um, you know, try, hopefully build the team, you know, like, you know, start, um, try to be an entrepreneur, like my other sister and my other brothers over here, you know, um, start a business, you know, um, you know, start getting merch out there, do music videos. You know, I got a lot of like personal stuff going on, which, um, I feel like I've, I feel like sometimes I feel like I don't want to put myself out there as much. But it's like, maybe I should, I just need to start focusing more on myself. And like I said, just building my craft because, you know, being on this platform has showed me that I can definitely make it. Like my dreams are not too far from my grasp, you know? So we just on our shit. That's all. Hey, and we're going to keep chasing. I'm proud of you. Period. Yeah. And I'm on the Nicole Remix. <laughs> 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 I'm buying that. Okay. Buying that. I know that's right. Yes. Rich, Rich Bob. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
What is next for you on your my, musical journey? Oh, yeah, my second independent album, Commercial Break, that'll be coming out hopefully in a couple months, man. I'm just focused on just making or creating a second uh, just solid project, best project I can I can fester in the essence. Um, outside of that, I have a few business ventures going on. I want to keep something solid to lock. And then uh, I'm in a, I guess, new relationship. I've been dating this dude for about two years. And we're gearing up to actually... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're actually gearing up to have a family. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to be on, you know, getting on the adoption list uh, next year and probably... Congratulations. Be like very, very soon. Very soon. So, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. So life's good. Life's good. He's waiting on me now. He's waiting on me now. We home. All right. <laughs> Well, okay, on oh, period. Okay, on period. The official king of pain. Rihanna to the period. Yes. It is the official king pain. Yeah, yes, sir. And, you know, moving forward, I'm just focused on growth. You know, uh, I've grown a lot over the past year. I started a new business, like a lot of people. Um, <laughs> and I just been chasing. Really, you know, um, I'm working on growing my social media presence expanding my hair company and, and staying booked. You know, I, I do music, I do stand up comedy and you know, I have a very large fan base. I'm getting ready to go to Atlanta for my 15K retreat. Uh, I have a backup channel, the Lituation okay. Network. I, I, you know, I got a lot of people that I work with um, and I would like to give a special shout out to all of them. Shout out to everybody that uh, that stands with the official King Payne. Shout out to my family. Okay, I'm here, my mama. God, okay, I'm Puriana, and it's up and it's stuck. Okay, and you a shop him ambassador. Yeah, shop him ambassador. <laughs> okay, the official. Okay, shop him ambassador. Okay. <laughs> Some of the other girls have tried. I would like to be a shop him, but have but failed. Never. But never. Ooh. Let's clap it up for that. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, hey, shop him. Okay, I'm period. <laughs> Hershey Lacour. What's I mean, next? He, he, he hot in him. <laughs> Hershey Lacour. What's next with your drag career and? Future overall, you have a lot of things coming up. It's it's a big household now. So yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to raising my two beautiful children. Um, you can catch me everywhere, somewhere in LA, Los uh, Long Beach, Victorville, mm -hmm. Portland. I'll see y'all soon. Riverside, where else? Oh, Portland, I'll see y'all soon. Dallas, I'll see y'all next year. Atlanta, I'll see y'all next year. St. Louis, I'll see y'all in a couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm out here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Black King Eye. Hi, Sissy Pop. Hey, <laughs> boo. What's next for you and your growing brand? Oh, my goodness. So, Royal Finance is doing well, as I showcased on the show. We have now gotten into start doing wholesale. So, I've been getting wholesale orders, staying up to 7 o'clock in the morning. So, I'm extremely tired, but I'm very blessed about that. I have a lot going on with my music. I'm releasing my first project. Of course, during the show, I did an yeah. amazing song, Chameleon with Poetic, which I love so much. Thank you for asking me to be a part of, of that course, song of and the message. I have a song with, of course, the one plus one divided by 20, Period. he and him. So make sure you guys <laughs> check out him. And of course, I have some very exciting battle rap news that I can't disclose yet, but I um, have some things working out and some other opportunities. So I'm just gonna keep keep chasing and sleep or for the people who have reached their destination, not for those who are chasing. Ooh. Oh I God. love that. That was amazing. Congratulations on everything. Miss Nicole Ray, yeah, darling. What is next for your hair journey? Um, we just released the wig line, so that's out now. People can purchase the wigs. They're custom wigs. Um, we have five set styles, but you can also like purchase one that you would like to do. You know, is the wig that you line. gave um Hershey uh -huh. or that's part of the yeah, wig line? Part of the wig line. Got you, yeah. got Why you. We can't see the wig. I went there. I thought you were gonna take it out. Because I mean, she had to take uh, it. Yeah, it's okay. No, 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 it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So the wig line is out now. Of course, I'm gonna have my bonnet line, honey. You need a bonnet, TTB? I do. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I gotta protect this hair, child. So yeah, I have my bonnets and Nicole Ray here. Bonnets, honey, those are selling like hotcakes. Um, I'm working on getting those distributed so I can sell them wholesale. Um, also, the salon is doing amazing. Like we're busier yes. than ever. It's holiday season now. So of course, everybody needs to look good for these holidays. Um, and just traveling and doing hair and other show projects and things of that nature. Stay tuned, honey. This is not the first and or last you'll see of Miss Nicole Ray here, you know, but just continuing to do what I do. Here let's clap for that. Yeah. And last but not least, what is next for the heat and him? 
You know, I literally just got back like 48 hours ago from being in Kentucky for like the last three weeks doing a film. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and I have another film project coming up next week. Of course, I have the single stream him. I'm super excited about that and a lot of great opportunities coming along with that. And like, honestly, you just never know with me. Like I'm just right now, I'm in the space of trying new things, expanding my horizon and seeing what's what the future has for me, but I definitely look forward to rebuilding with Nicole. You know, I feel like we got off to such an amazing start. So I hate that things have went the way that they have, but you know, ultimately I do have a lot of respect for her. I think she's a great businesswoman. I think she came and looked fabulous this season. And you know, I really truly hope yeah, that we can rainbow. get off to a new start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, that's a single pray. I Period. Pray. And yeah. me and King Pay, we got something dope coming up too on yeah. the horizon. Um, in connection to the well discussed LLC. So yes. the LLC is coming back alive one more time one before more time. she get buried and put in a grave. But we're okay. excited about that. Love it. Love it. Positivity all around. <laughs> well, before we get out of here, I would like to thank everyone, including all of you, for making me your season two yes. Chasing yes. LA yes. review. Yes. Oh, yes. Appreciate it a yes. lot. Yes. Um, Y'all are a rowdy bunch, but I, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change a thing, okay? And with that being said, my name is TTB. You guys can follow me all over social media. And please make sure you guys like, subscribe to all things Chasing Reality, okay? And on that note, have a good night. We out of here. Out of here.